Alright my fighters, so today we are going to talk about everything that we got after the update and we will talk actually about an equipment that is the most absurd equipment that we got until now in Dragon Ball Legends. So without any further ado, let's just get started. As you can see first we have I am Gogeta, we aren't going to talk about the thanks for 3 years because that is actually going to get updated every week until the anniversary is over, so we know already what is ex uh, what is inside it actually, so we will start in state with I am Gogeta, if we click on it as you can see here we have the uh, transforming Gogeta and we have the information about his Zenkai awakening as well I already made a video about it if you didn't check it make sure to check it out uh, anyways we have here actually the multi Z power that you can actually acquire for, for Gogeta from the event and then we have the bonus characters these characters aren't going to give you extra droop but they are going to be extra strong actually in the event in case you you don't have enough characters if you are new to play or something like that you can use these characters and they are going actually to help you to clear the stages much easier and faster and then we have the equipment the most absurd equipment in the entire universe Look at these states, from 12 to 20% strike defense, from 15 to 25% strike attack, and from 15 to 35, 35 blast attack. This is unbelievable, like seriously dude, this is just crazy, these states are, are absurd especially knowing to this to who is this equipment made actually it is made for two characters one the legendary finish broly two the new transforming gojita the zinkai awakened one the zinkai awakened gojita has actually 304,000 blessed attack without without any buffs and without any stats increasing this is his 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 normal blast attack add to this 35 percent this is gonna be crazy this is gonna be just absolutely crazy like seriously dude this is gonna be absolutely phenomenal his damage is going to be on another level and even the legendary finish Broly, he already, he already deals an insane and absurd damage with his strike attacks. Add to that 25% and add to his blast damage as we are 35%. This is going to make him a monster. Like this equipment, I really don't understand why they created it actually. They did narrow it so much to two characters actually that can that can use it there are some other characters but these are the only useful characters that can use it if i am not mistaken let me know uh, about it if you if you know actually any other characters that are useful and can use it uh, i don't use sages from the movies a lot so maybe i forgot something but uh, these are actually the two characters that comes to to my mind directly and both of them are going to be monsters using this equipment so i really don't understand why they went so crazy on this equipment but well whatever <laughs> other equipments goes up actually to only 15 percent and 18 percent like seriously dude why the hell going with 25 and 35 percent on the same equipment on the same equipment this is crazy absolutely crazy and then you can see that you have actually the Gojita who increases the amount of uh, equipments that is going to droop, this equipment specifically, that is going to droop actually uh, in the stage that is giving you from the equipment. Anyways, we have two uh, titles as well, as you can see, leave it to me and bring it. I think that both of them doesn't have any uh, effects actually, so you just get them because you like them, nothing more. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the stage which is going to give us actually the Zinkai Awakening uh, soul, soul Boost materials and this is pretty nice actually. Then we have the event. Alright, let's get things started. 
And here you can get uh, the Z, the multi Z power for the Gogeta, the transforming one, so that you can actually uh, limit or break him. Unfortunately, they aren't going to give us any uh, any uh, uh, Zinkai Awakening multi Z power. Obviously, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, basically you have these uh, bonus characters that can help you to clear the stage again. And we have the two titles, the Star Arrives and Unlimited Power. And I believe that this as well has no effect actually. Uh, then we have the equipments that we can get as well. Uh, this equipment, the Hurrah, is actually a pretty good equipment for Gojita. Uh, it's not super broken, but it can help him a lot actually, especially if you can get maybe 14% on the special move damage and uh, around 17% on the blast attack damage. That is going to make him really good actually, it is going to help him a lot. And then we have information about the Zinkai Awakening, and this is pretty much nearly everything that we got actually we got the zinkai awakening as, as well but as i said before we are going actually to uh, i already talked about it uh, so if you want to check uh, to check that out you can actually check it in the uh, in the video that i made uh, for around actually 15 minutes ago <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, if you want to check out that out, make sure to check it. And then we have the Sparking Super Scott Bottle, which is going to give us actually Sparking Multi Z Power. As you can see, we have some nice characters actually. Uh, the Tranks is pretty broken, the Vegeta is pretty broken, and the Gogeta is pretty broken. All three Zinkais are pretty broken, so whichever you want to actually limit the break, it is going to be good. And then you have some extra characters together with them, that you can limit the break together with them actually as a reward. <laughs> this May, once she actually gets a Zinkai Awakening, she is going to become the, god, the green god of uh, futures. Anyways, uh, we will go actually to the last event that we got, which is Go Forth Galactic Patrol. And as you can see here, we are going to be able actually to clear different stages that we choose on our own uh, uh, or of our own choice actually. And basically, we will go through the the stages and get the rewards that we chose. And uh, last. But not least, we are going to get actually the reward 300 Kron Crystals for clearing the last, uh, the last stage against Frieza. This is pretty nice because this event gives us actually 300 Kron Crystals, which is always welcome. And pretty much there is a new season in the Tournament of Power. And then we have two returning Zinkai Awakened characters. We have the Gogeta and we have the God Vegeta. Both of them are super broken, so if you want to do singles for them, they totally deserve it. If you want to summon for them, they totally deserve it as well, but I think that most of us are going actually to summon for this boy. Oh, where is he? <laughs> for this, this, this boy, if we are going to summon actually for a Zinkai Awakening. Other than that, good luck with all of your summons, whether they are actually to Zinkai Awaken this guy, so that you can get maybe the 500 or 1500, or good luck with your summons to get actually either Gojita or the Masu. Or in case you want actually Gojita Blue, Vegeta Blue, or any other legendary finished character, good luck with that. Anyways, with that being said, that was everything for today. There are some missions as well, some new missions that you can do by clearing, uh, doing adventures, doing PvP and such things that are going to give you Hui Pui coins actually. So yeah, basically make sure to check that out and make sure to clear it, to clear them because the Hui Pui coins are the most important thing that are right now in the game because they are going to give you actually the Legends Limited Multi Z Power and who doesn't want a Legends Limited Multi Z Power for free? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah basically make sure to do these missions as well to get your multi z power and uh, with that being said that was everything for today i hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too and if you got any useful information from this video or if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you stay notified with everything with everything new about dragon ball legends and with that being said see you as always in the next video of dragon ball legends